Hey guys, so real quick before the video gets started, I just wanted to let you know that I'm having a big shop update. There are now emote sticker sets of both Christy and almost all of my characters from Vibrant. Characters who all eventually show up in this Sims Medieval series. Also, all of my stickers now have free shipping, including my previously released ones. So please be sure to check it out. Link is in the description. Thank you! Hello everyone! We're finally back! It's been like literal months, but... I hadn't forgotten about this series, I just had a lot of stuff going on. And other things I wanted to do, so... Anyway, I was looking at the quests we have. Um... And obviously I kind of wanted to do something with Avalon since we just added her last episode, but there's only like three quests she can actually do here. That's the Fountain of Legend, War Games, or the Talking Frog. Uh, both Fountain of Legends and War Games you can gain a legendary trait from, which if you didn't know what a legendary trait it's like a super good trait that replaces your fatal flaw if you succeed the quest. Um, so you can get a legendary trait from both of these, but this one is knight specific. So I really wanted to do this one for her. However, I, I looked this quest up on the wiki because I wanted to know what the requirements were to get the legendary trait. And turns out um, if you go into this quest with a knight that is under level 5, it's an automatic fail. And Avalon is only level 3. So, um, and I didn't want to do this one because obviously, why, why do the one that anyone can do when I could do the knight specific one? So that only left this quest. And I'm not feeling like doing this one right now. Plus, uh, I don't have the ability for two knowledge so what we're gonna do instead we're gonna do the next part of the pirate quest now the only thing with this one is this is also an aspect that i am full up on but um so i didn't mention this last time but the reason i bought this was because um the the buildings that don't have heroes still add kingdom aspects so, like, this King Ball Court adds, uh, well-being, security, and culture. Um, so to solve the problem of being full on knowledge, I'm going to, I think I have to buy either the lighthouse or the mill. And we only have, we already have quite a bit of security, so I think I'm gonna buy the mill. Um, yeah. Ooh! I've never seen- Oh, it's got, like, windmills, too! I've not seen this one, I don't think. Okay, so now we have the ability to gain a single knowledge, so we can do this quest and not have it be for nothing. <laughs> Become a pirate. Everyone wants to be a captain right away, but it's not that easy. A pirate ship is a pyramid organization, a hierarchy where would-be pirates prove themselves by climbing the ranks. Greenhorns first submit a, re a resume. <laughs> no saltworthy sea captain would let some scallywag aboard without at least three years experience in thieving, looting, pillaging, and other pirate skills. <laughs> Even pirates, man. <laughs> so I didn't realize I could do this with Avalon, but... I mean, it is Christy who's trying to become a pirate, so... Um... Gain pirate allegiance. Attracting heroes to the pirate cause was paramount to the eventual success against the guild menace. What's the old saying? A hero's worth a thousand peasants. <laughs> Both sides of the conflict actively pursued the various heroes. It was a beautiful day in Sudayo, but more than just nice weather, it was the day Lady Christie the Great was approached to become a pirate. Adventure, high seas, tons of booty, who wouldn't want to be a pirate? Especially because that's like your whole thing. Oh, apparently she didn't sleep very well. Alright. Uh, go to location. Mm. I want to see the mill. I want to see... Mill while we're going past it. 
That's so pretty. I love it. All right. Whoa. Psst, come over here. I have a proposition you should hear, you lucky dog. Um, okay, he's hiding behind the viewers. Uh, I'm assuming press for details. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> the pirates have taken interest in your activities. You are without honor, work ethic, or morals. Basically, you're the perfect pirate. Yeah, that's what I want to be known for. <laughs> if you think you've got what it takes, join the cause. Just march down to the dock and seek out pirate recruiter Alexa for details. It's an honor to be invited like this, but be polite. She has killed for much less than rudeness. Okay. Walking sim again. <laughs> If you guys knew how much walking I cut out of this game, especially because of the dizzying camera angles like this, my goodness, the videos would be so much longer. Express interest in try in pirate tryouts. I'm here to do a thing. Why are you fighting? They're gonna take a while. Yark, so you want to be a pirate? Gar. No resume and no experience? I should feed your ugly body to the sharks. Luckily, your reputation precedes you, and I've heard of your nest deeds. I'll let you try out. Is this because of the grandma? The grandma that was debatably a witch? What do I need to do? Ask the pirate. How do I try out? Oh, she's evil, I think. All right, Scallywag, I've called forth Pirate C Recruiter Howlin and Pirate Recruiter Dave <laughs> to test your merits. If you make it, which I doubt, return to me for your last exam. And be honored, these titans really make time for lowly scum like yourself, nor do I. Do your worst, begin the test. Is this Dave? I assume this is Dave. Yeah. He does kind of look like a Dave. Okay, matey, you think you got it? Choose your poison. Which be the test you're most confident about? Which test is preferable? Dedication inquiry. Pirates don't have a reputation for being loyal, but as a group, they live and die together. Do you have what it takes? Showmanship review. Anyone can lop off an enemy's limb, but only the best can deliver a perfect one-liner as it occurs. It isn't what you do, it's how you do it. Hmm. Um, I guess I'm going to go with dedication. There's only one way to do this. Prove your dedication by chopping off a finger. No sweat. Ready? I should have chose the one-liner. Uh, okay. She's got to find the perfect spot to do it, apparently. <laughs> I like that it's just the whittling animation. <laughs> Holy Watcher, that burns like fire and I didn't even break skin yet. This isn't happening. Time for a new plan. Where to get a fresh finger? <laughs> Sever some sucker's finger to present as your own sacrifice. Trick pirate into thinking a bloody leech is your sacrifice. Uh, this this went downhill fast. <laughs> I feel like a, a leech is easier to come by. <laughs> Also, she is good, so I don't think she would just, I don't know, I feel, I'm going with the leech one. Let's go see what this other quest is while I get a leech. Cause I also just realized it's nighttime again, and I need to sleep. 
Yar, I've been expecting ya. Let's test your metal. What's your yellow liver brave enough to face? Uh, which test is preferable? Many, many moons can be spent on a lonely sea. Do you have what it takes to remain sane despite cooped up conditions? Constitution evaluation. Many have starved while pro on prolonged ocean voyages. A true pirate can stomach even the most wretched and spoiled of foods. This one sounds more fun. This will make my belly shake with laughter no matter what happens. How would they prove your mettle? Survive the smelly cave of smells or survive Sir Buzz Killington's boring conversations? Survive Sir Buzz Killington, I guess. <laughs> I just want to know who this guy is. Alright, well, I'm going to go home. Because I need to sleep. And it's going to be 3 in the morning by the time I get home. Oh, he's down here anyway. I mean, I'm a royal, so I'm probably used to listening to boring people talk, right? Should be pretty normal, standard business for her. <laughs> ah, well, hello, my lady. So pleased to see you. Please stay for a moment. We simply must, uh, converse about the current state of Sudaya. Okay, I have to chat with him more, but I'm getting soup. Or, actually, what is this? Yeah, this soup. I'm gonna end up BFFs with this guy, aren't I? Hmm, <laughs> well, so you can see that the true value, blah, 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 whereas the alternate would be obviously blah, 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 blah. I'm surviving! At least I can actually do this twist, quest, and I don't have to cut off my own finger for it. So the extrovert will always undoubtedly blah 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 blah. <laughs> Wait to regain consciousness! <laughs> for the watcher's sake, I don't think anyone can naturally resist the sheer powers of boredom that Sir Buzz Killington wields. <laughs> Passed out. <laughs> okay. Um. Apparently I can't do this quest. There's just no way to withstand Buzz Killington's droning voice. Perhaps I can create a pair of makeshift noise blockers from the soft, from the soft barnacles clinging to the dock ship at the port. Okay. Well, let's. While we're here, let's go ahead and write our treaty of ongoing peace. So I didn't know, but apparently only physicians can collect leeches like naturally. So I have to actually buy one from the shop. Which is kind of weird, but... <laughs> Christy the Great begins scouring the sides of the ship. The perfect size plugs may offer some protection against Sir Buzz Killington's incessant ramblings. Reach for waxy barnacles. The waxy properties of a certain bunch over there may block out the sound better than anything else. Really clinging to the side of the ship, though. Grab slimy barnacles. The other bunch is easily within reach, but all slimy from the sea spray. Hopefully they won't slide right out when being warm. Slimy sounds disgusting. Uh, so waxy. <laughs> Lady Christie the Great quickly and easily grabs the waxy barnacles, but immediately regrets the decision. They will certainly do the job, but their sticky, warm feeling is just plain appalling. Received a bald bush. It worked! I can't hear a word this windbag is saying and I'm still going strong. 
This is far longer than anyone else could last. Okay. Brag about the victory. Actually, you know what? Let's go do the leech thing first, because I'm assuming it's going to send me over there. Oh, good. It's only a dollar. Christy rounded a corner in the busy village and almost ran over a young halfling wearing a moth-eaten and uncharacteristically grubby coat. The hustling little hobby hastily extracted a beautiful loot from behind his back. He drew near Lady Christy the Great and whispered, like new, half price. What say you? Buy it. The poor little fellow was down on his luck and selling what must have been a treasured musical possession at a discount. The loot was in perfect condition and would be a steal. Technically it was illegal, but who was looking? Or well, no way. Obviously the pathetic pint-sized pilfer had some horrible vice he needed to feed. The loot was probably stolen property, and purchasing stolen property it was a crime. Um, I mean, what do I need a loot for, though, realistically? <laughs> I'm a pirate queen. I don't... I'm not a bard. Lady Christie the Great obligingly looked over the loot and then gently handed it back to the homely half pint. Why not play this beautiful little loot in the square and earn some money, eh? She counseled. The grubby little hobby stared back grimly and then grunted its disapproval. It suck out a vile little tongue, and after aiming a spiteful glare at Christie's way, it scampered off in the dusty streets. I can't play either! <laughs> Deliver finger. Finger in quotation marks. Here's my thinking, by the way, okay? I highly doubt this is going to fool them. However, them being pirates, they might be more impressed with my attempts to deceive them than they would be for me cutting off my own finger. Or this is about to go horribly wrong. One of the two. That I just wanted to say that in case you were wondering when I picked the leap option that I don't actually think it will work. <laughs> but we'll see, you never know. Maybe uh, she's better at deceiving than I thought. Wow, that was loud. I can't believe you actually did it. You're crazy. Hey, wait a second. I see five fingers on each of your hands. It's simple. You take five fingers on the left and add it to in the right five fingers. It's obviously equals nine, and the seventh finger you get a total of ten. <laughs> You're right, good math, you passed the test. <laughs> okay, worked out better than I thought it would. <laughs> Alright, bag about victory. Alright. So that one didn't really have an interaction, we just needed to chat with her, okay. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. I need to go home anyway because I'm, like, starving and it's affecting my score negatively now, so... The last test will measure your cunning and guile. Prove how sneaky you are and return when you have something worthwhile to share. Now scram! Okay. Oh, hey, there's all the one. Um. Okay. Oh, wow. He's on fire. Harveyville is also on fire. I didn't even notice these places before. I don't think those were. Alright, so I've formed an alliance with Harveyville. I don't think that was necessarily what I was supposed to do, but I was like, might as well. It seems Tridany has an understanding with Craftful and doesn't patrol their shared border very thoroughly. Perhaps I can exploit that weakness. Ah. 
practice military strategy. Becomes friends with Smithmaster Sigfrid of Grapple. Apparently, I'm already friends. Did you know that the people of Craffle want to eat cheese for every meal of the day? It seems a bit mad if you ask me. Oh wait, no, that was the uh, that was the that was the gossip, not the. I'm gass gossiping to him about his own people. Oh, so now there's a pirate envoy because I'm, um, because I'm alliances with them. Gosh, I sure want to help you succeed, but I'm not sure that that would be the honorable thing to do. Okay. Sigma. Smithmaster Siegfried of Craftful needs a bit more motivation. Threaten to arrest. You can act honorably in the stocks if you wish. Offer bribe. Perhaps fat, heavy pockets will help alleviate your concerns. I have four thousand dollars, so I mean, might as well. We're supposed to be friends, you know. It doesn't really seem like the friend thing to do to throw him in the stocks, you know. If I'm going for the manipulation tactic. A hundred dollars? Easy. I've got four thousand. Why are we fighting? I don't know why they just automatically fight, but it's kind of funny. Okay, apparently that was just like a friendly fight. Ah, uh, yes, a hundred dollars is a good start to our relationship, but I may need more in the future to continue this arrangement. There will be no more talk. You will uphold your promise, else I share this conversation with other territory leaders. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I paid you, man. Of course, of course, I beg forgiveness. Please don't misconstrue my intentions as disobedient. I am loyal. I am your loyal, humble servant. Okay. Very impressive. You've got salt. You're more than your proven worth. Welcome to the pirates, matey. I. Quest complete. Maybe. What, quest complete? Be yelled at! <laughs> okay, quest complete. I was gonna say, there was like a delay there. It was official. Lady Christie the Great was a newly recruited member of the pirate fleet. She couldn't wait to go out and gather all the booty she could carry. The pirate title also carried with it some fantastic perks. Beside long walks along the plank anytime Lady Christie desired and the gorgeous swimming conditions off the pirate ship, Christie could now... Go on raids from the ship, perform the secret handshake with other pirates, wear new clothes fit for a scoundrel, change their official title through any newly issued pirate certificate of title found in inventory. Ooh! Ooh! So is that not the end of the quest? Or do I have to actually, like... Okay, there's the end of the quest. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, I don't know what's with all the delay. And we very much are leaning towards Arbyville now. And we got gold on that quest, because I did some uh, dilly-dallying to make sure it got up to gold. <laughs> Not that it mattered too much. I, I mean, well, probably it might contribute more to, like, how much it goes this way. The pirates gained a new ally on that fateful day. The Merchant Guild Consortium superpower faced economic instability and... Marantime terror and was forced to deal with the upheaval for which it was particularly responsible. Every hero that decided to join the pirate cause simply drove another nail in the consortium coffin. 
and we're up to level six. Hey! We're officially a pirate! Well, we can change our, our title to actually say pirate now. Now, so it said that she could wear new outfits, but I don't actually know how to change. How do I even change a character's outfits? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. I guess I'll figure that out later. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!